Want to give a shout out to my boys, Jolly Vaughan and Jolly Parko. Better luck next year, boys. And to everyone else, can't wait to see you as a snapper. 2025. Nah, I can't say that. <laughs> That's f***ed up. That is f***ed up. Yeah, I am a smart mouth. How'd you think I wound up where I am? Who I am by now? Just another minute till we sisters sign off. So if you're not with a wave, bye bye bye. Babe, I got a third eye. I don't do receipts. I'm a witch. Fill me up for my switch. I'm a bitch. I'm a devil in disguise. Then I'm hitting the dice. They don't even know me. We're going to talk World Cup Challenge, best comp of the year. This is, so this video is going to be all about the Usher Cup uh, World, World Club Challenge. Our team got second and the individuals ended up winning. Theo and Usher Group put together such a good event. I think they raised about $100,000 for charities in the area. Um, and then, yeah, more importantly, we get to win. Big checks. So we got, this is the latest one. This is the 2024, as you can see there, 21st of January, so about a month on now. Still living it, such a good weekend. That's one. We got 2023 here, but... It's, we won't worry about that too much, it was uh, not the best year that one. Put that one off to the side. And we got 2022, which is another beautiful year for me. It's another win. Four years, two wins. I'll claim that. How many people have a 50% strike rate at events? So yeah, these two, these two stay with me. I feel like Conor McGregor with the two belts in the UFC. Like, look at these. But we're very lucky that the Usher Group gets to put on events like this for us because as QS surfers, we, you know, we get to serve a lot of events, but not many at Snapper Rocks and not many for this amount of prize money. So. It's very good that we have a, a company that's kind of backing the Aussie grassroots surfing and, and helping us kind of achieve our dreams. So, very happy and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Men's final underway, Doggy. It is an absolute showstopper too, as we see. Sheldon Simkes for Snapper Rocks here. Get things started. So oh strong out of the lip. Drives up into the pocket once again. Have a look at the water coming off the rail oh. as he hammers the end section. That is the start that he wanted. Such a treat to have some of those former CTs, especially the international guests. And, uh, she has just caused a, a massive upset here at Snapper Rocks as we see Sheldon up again. 8.33 on his first wave. Looking to back that up now. Really slick. Oh, oh my goodness. Smooth, and he is having a good old chuckle out there in the lineup at the moment. Yeah, he's loving life. He's in rhythm. And uh, we heard him say earlier on, he's just sick to death. He's had a gutful of uh, getting done up by Parko. So he's out here and he is uh, really dropping the hammer straight away. He's any two big scores on the board. And uh, you know when you finish your ride and you're smiling that you're in good rhythm. This is a magic week for Sheldon. Uh, the Snapper Rocks Club in really great, a great position in, in serious contention for the Usher Cup title as the host club. But also Wayne Rabbit Bartholomew, he basically said, he came out and said that Sheldon is the Tweed Heads goat. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's a huge accolade, isn't it? From uh, the man, well, from the Tweed Heads rabbit to yeah. the Tweed Heads goat. <laughs> Magic. Here we are, the Snapper Ops crew. They got a couple of charges in the final. What's doing, lads? Who's going to win? Um, Just as long as one of the Snapper boys win. <laughs> Barco's okay. winning. As long as it's not one of the Snapper boys win, we're all happy. They got one and two. They got 500 on Barco. Here he goes. Oh, Joel Parkinson on the outside. Oh. Have a look at this combo. Oh. Oh. Huge. Oh. He's, He's in vintage form. Oh, He's lost nothing. Oh. Throws Is that tail. Can't oh. hang on for the finish. So many special contests have unfolded here on the Gold Coast. And this is another one of them, and it's got such a, a great feel to it as Sheldon goes to get rid of that 6.33. Oh! Huge reverse. Stomps it with ease, loves the feel of it. All right. That's solid. All right. What's Charlie Vaughan now? How swift was the rotation then? I mean, that was 
seamless. Yeah, he, was, he absolutely flew through that entire ride, Vorno. Oh, greased out. And uh, plenty of speed, little tap. Hits the section perfectly. Wow. Full rotator, tail drop into the into the uh, the ditch, and he pulls it out. He's going and, out of, uh, out hey, of mate, body, mate. That's oh, what they call it. And he's got these little out of body crew. That's what uh, that's yep. what Sheldon did there. And he's surfing outside of himself now. Yep. Oh, that's, is that where we're going? Is that's, it? That's how you want to play it. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Well, his strike rate has been so strong. Parko, thumbs up. Well, Parko's uh, put his put his snapper hat on here. Clearly. Yes. 8.93 for Sheldon Simkes. And he has two excellent scores now and a whole lot of time to build on both those numbers. He's loving it. Look at those scores, Shelly. You know, he knows what wave he's looking for and we have seen him pick the eyes out of his lineup all week long. And it looks like he's found something from behind the rock. Comes fanging around the corner. Classic Paco arc. Beautiful line straight into the foam bounce. And he just made a really difficult turn. Looks so buttery, so easy. As this thing begins to load up on the inside, gets a bonus. Starts the little float. Will it give him more to work with on the inside here, dog? It does. Bang. Bashes it again. For right. sure. He needs uh, a 9.93. Parker has a broken combo. Oh. Oh, so this is Shelley's last ride. That's the start of it. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Well, this could be a score. This might put it out of reach for all the, uh, the other finalists. Look at him go. Big... Big old front side blow tail reverse. And Joel's on a set. Oh, man. He was always going to connect with one of the bigger waves that came through, rolling down the line, piecing uh -oh. it together, drives oh. up into the pocket. Big oh. hit there, backs oh. it up again. Down. That is going to break combination for Joel Parkinson. Three that minutes. should be an excellent score. He's got to get back to the takeoff zone, oh. though. Shelly out the back, he's thrown up one big foam climb and he might get a little bit nervous here because if there's one person who has classically chased him down time after time, it's Joel Parkinson. He's back in the frame, surely. What a treat. Big wave. And a great combination to finish that ride off. A lot of power unloaded. And Snapper Rocks, they're starting to get, well, they're licking their lips for this one. 17.26 for Sheldon Simkus. Joel Parkinson, an impressive heat score total, but he needs more. He needs an 8.34. 45 seconds. Joel Vaughan still after that 9.93. Made joy. Great run for him through this contest. Oh, give but us a he wave. is comboed at this stage. Paco. Look at them. They're splashing each other. This is hilarious. Paco's going, give me something. Paco's saying, mate, it's not over till it's over. 25 seconds on the clock. Snapper's been good to him. Oh, I think this, this might be it. Is there a lump out there? 16 seconds. Who is Plenty going of noise out there. Paco's now just thinking about Joel Vaughan and maintaining Snapper's position in the top two. Uh oh, with Sells five it. seconds, let's see. Joelie Vaughan off the bottom. Oh! Hammers a huge first turn. Off wow. the bottom again. Snaps it. He needs more. He needs much more, but he's whacking oh, it again. Man. And a big finish from Joelie Vaughan. Oh, he didn't finish. He didn't finish. And Sheldon Simkes got up before the Hooter as well. What a final. Wow. Joel Vaughan. Has smashed it, but a 9.93. I think it might be Shelley's. He might, uh, Joel might just get himself ahead of Parker though. He, he didn't need a whole lot to jump back in a second, but Shelton Simkes, he's wondering what went down. He's saying, what did you do, Joel? Well, Joel went mad. Joel yeah. went absolutely mad. I don't know what more he could have done other than make that last turn, and it could have been crucial, really. This is a nice wave from Shelley. Oh, God, he's surfing. So well. Oh, oh wow. Board slide on the air there. Cop that, he says. Yeah. But you can't deny Sheldon Simkes. He gets the win for Snapper. And he, he finally gets one over Joel. He'll be loving that. Unbelievable start from Shelly. He's buzzed. Couple of big eight-point rides. Parko went excellent as well with an 8.93. There's the three. Snapper. Groms. Representatives, the Groms. They start to uh, they start to earn their place. And yeah. there he is, your open champ. He's had two victories now at the Usher Cup in this division. And he has set Snapper Rocks up beautifully to have a good run at the overall victory too. That was an amazing performance from Sheldon Simkis. He just got out there and yeah. uh, really flared up. Didn't he look comfortable? He was smiling after waves. He was in perfect sync, perfect rhythm. And he's got Corbin Hutchins and 
Jay Ocalupo cheering him up the beach. You'd be loving that. If there was any doubt about his status as the Tweed Heads goat, that, that's out the window now. He has completely validated his position. Snapper Rocks, they get the first, they get the third. Well, that was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that weekend. I hope you guys enjoyed the highlights of that. Um, I'd like to thank Joel Parkinson. He really pushed me along this uh, this weekend. It was great to finally get a win over him. I think I've been trying for about eight years now, on and off, in snapper border riders. And uh, yeah, can't wait to see you guys in the next Usher Cup. <laughs> That's got to be it.